Hey there. It's been a while since the last recording because it's been so hot, but I was wanting to do this a lot sooner, but I guess we're doing it now. So I'm going to be finishing. If you missed the uh, the last video, I did this engraving on this sword. And uh, basically to catch you all up, I just started doing one line and then branching off of it with cool designs and whatnot. And we're going to uh, heat this up and dip it in oil and then grind off all the oil. Or not the oil, but uh, the part that's been um, quenched. But the lines will be left etched in black from the oil because I'm just going to grind the surface. But now we're going to finish this. And we've got to do both sides. But we're going to finish this going all the way down to the guard. So that is uh, all of the basic engraving stuff. I'm going to go back in and fill in the blank spaces like here and here and here and here and here and stuff and add 
uh, little curls and like almost like fish hooks in there to make it stand out and not look uh, splotchy with just blank space. I like I really like this is probably my first or this is probably my uh, favorite part this first little bit and then I like this down here uh, how it's like piercing into it and it's got hooks all over and I like this too. But I'm trying to incorporate more stuff like this throughout. So this isn't messy, but it's it's really it's full. And I can tell that it, it's just the right amount of stuff going on. So it looks really cool without looking too much or boring. And this has a lot of straight lines, so it could use some contrast in here. But now, we're going to the other side.
Okay, so we're ready to heat this thing up and um, quench it, but I just wanted to go over what we're going to do before I actually turn on the forge because the forge is really loud. So here we go. Um, the um, First, we're going to get it white hot or bright orange. It's going to look different on the camera, so just bear with me there, but in person, I'm going to get it to a bright orange color, pull it out of the forge, and we're going to walk over here, and we're going to put it in the oil, and let it cool down, and uh, when we do that, the oil should seep into the metal, and cool down, and I should be able to take a high grit angle, uh, angle grinder disc, or flap disc, and uh, take off that layer of oil on the surface and it will hopefully leave me with the engravings uh, in black. I already tried to clean some on this side and it made them a hair bit lighter which is okay but I hope hopefully we won't have uh, too much of the actual engravings taken off and if it does, that's it's okay. I'm sure uh, some of them will still be there, but it's gonna look really cool. Gosh! I can tell why they didn't make full metal swords in medieval history now. They got really hot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Well, I didn't quench all of it. There's a bit about that long that didn't go in the oil. So sadly, that probably won't even show. Hopefully, the rest of it turns out great. In order to cool this thing off, I've been taking a wet rag and just damping it on it. But I thought I'd want to mention it just sounds like the perfect piece of bacon. <laughs> well, here it is. This is not the intended look I wanted for it, but it actually turned out to be something a little different and still looked pretty cool. I was originally intending on the engravings being black, but uh, that didn't work out. So I decided to dip the entire blade in acid to see what that did, and uh, it ended up flash rusting the entire thing which I thought gave it some really cool characteristics like it brought out the engravings in this really cool looking way and it uh I believe it looks uh a lot older like it looks like it's been aged like it looks like a ancient type deal which it's obviously not but still looks super super cool like you, you can see all the markings a lot clearer take a look at the other side it'll focus there we go yeah, it just looks really cool, really interesting. It doesn't pop as much as I want, like the engravings aren't as bright, but I think it's cool because uh, it, it looks like a regular, it, it just kind of looks like a rusty sword from far away, but then you notice something on it, and then you look closer, and it reveals the rest of it to you. I think it's pretty cool how it does that. Because then you notice this, and then you follow it down here, and you see the rest of this through here. 
really really cool but if you enjoyed watching me do these engravings and seeing the entire process let me know feel free to like and subscribe and uh, maybe I'll do a little bit more of this